Hello, gamers and friends and everybody watching all over the world on our hit YouTube channel, All In, uh, a Nintendo podcast YouTube channel. I don't know. I'm off the rails already, y'all. Let's play some Mission in Soldier Land, December 4th. This month's kind of flying by for me, to be honest. I, um, and I, I don't know. I don't know what I expected. It's part of getting older, I suppose. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have otters. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get, okay. I didn't mean to get like right into it like that. Normally I have a little bit more preamble. Um, okay. Mission in Snowdrift Land. Hi, hi everybody. Welcome to Mission in Snowdrift Land for December 4th, our little advent calendar game series that we're doing every day. I am playing a new level of Mission in Snowdrift Land, this weird little platformer that was a collaboration from Nintendo and an independent developer that was a Flash game and then came back and uh, a new level uh, unlocks every day of December, like an advent calendar leading up to Christmas. And back in the day, it would like also play Nintendo trailers from like the mid 2000s. So you would do one of these levels um, and you would get like a freaking Twilight Princess ad or something. But now it's just a game on Steam and hopefully Switch soon. I I, I told myself that I wouldn't just like re-describe the game every single day, but here I am doing it. Um, the game, as you can see, is a 2D platformer and it's quite good, and now we have these adorable little otters. Oh gosh, you really have to go for it, man. You really have to go for it with the otters. So, so far, so, uh, like I said, every day is a new level, if this is your first time here watching this. Um, and so, uh, we're getting a steady rise in difficulty. But I hope everybody's having a good holiday here in my house. Um, it is nice and Christmassy. We have already decorated and everything. Now, here's what's weird for me. I guess I'll talk about this a little bit while I'm playing. To, to go with Christ the Christmas theming, right? The holiday branding. So, my family is Jewish. And so, at this time of year, typically we are celebrating Hanukkah. But, um, also, we also celebrate Christmas. My wife and I. Because, you know, I grew up celebrating Christmas. So, it's kind of like I get I get the best of both worlds. I get Hanukkah with my family, and I get Christmas with my wife. And it's nice. And uh, so anyway, Hanukkah has um, uh, concluded, I think. Oh, no, no, Hanukkah hasn't concluded by the time you're listening to this yet. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Hanukkah goes on from, like, it's like Sunday to Sunday kind of thing. So Hanukkah actually concludes tomorrow. I don't know. I'm mixed up on Hanukkah this year because my family actually isn't... Holy moly, did you see? Look at her. She's freaking out. She's like, what do you mean you're not celebrating Hanukkah? Um, no, no, my, my family is celebrating Hanukkah, but we're doing it... My, my dad is out of town for work, so um, it's a bit weird for us this year. We're actually going to have to celebrate it much later. Um, we're celebrating Hanukkah on, like, the, like, the 12th or something, so, uh, anyway, that was a long-winded way of saying, oh gosh, that was a long-winded way of me saying, get you a family that can do both, because <laughs> I, I love these sort of, like, Jewish, you know, traditions, and, and Hanukkah's great and everything, but it is kind of nice, too, to still be able to celebrate Christmas in the way that I did when I grew up with my wife and we don't have kids yet but when we have kids you know we will celebrate Christmas with them and stuff and I just like all of the uh the sights and sounds of Christmas I love Christmas trees I love candy canes and peppermints and uh, hot cocoa and, and stuff like this I just I love all that stuff it's uh oh gosh totally screwed that up uh I love all that stuff and um you know Hanukkah really is just an eight-day party anyway, so that's really what Hanukkah is. You're just eating fried food, partying, drinking. That's that's what Hanukkah is all about, man. It's great. Hanukkah is great. I do love Hanukkah. I was really reticent, actually, um, when my parents first uh, converted, because I've always been a Christmas boy. And oh my gosh! You see what I mean? I've talked about this a bunch when uh, when trying to explain why I do so bad at this game. Uh, 
But the game's got really slippery momentum and physics, which feel good and appropriate for this game, but it does require, oh my gosh, like I'm just sliding right off of that little platform into the water. You know what I mean? So that is the biggest problem. It doesn't help when you're taking like breaks. Like if you're sitting here playing through the entire game in a single sitting, you probably wouldn't have all that much issue with it because you probably would acclimate yourself to the way the game feels pretty quickly. But when you're playing like a level and then, you know, bouncing, um, it's a little bit different. I hope I'm not killing all these enemies for no reason because I probably do put myself in harm's way more than I need to, to for the purpose of killing enemies. I can't get over how cute these otters are, man. They are so freaking cute. No, they they must. There, there would be no other reason for that enemy to be down there if we uh, if we weren't counting enemies. You know what I mean? There must be some kind of rolling enemy counter. Let these guys waddle this way. Ugh. Oh gosh, I don't like her up there. Don't like this. Yep. <laughs> don't don't like that setup because she's just gonna waddle slowly over there. The game is a lot of fun though, and I'm having a lot of fun doing it this way. I didn't play the game um, in its initial like flash game release, um, so it's cool to it's cool to be able to play it like this and to play it the way that it was presented back then. I almost wish, and I know that, that this wouldn't have been possible for uh, tons of bits because of, like, licensing stuff, but man, it, like, the nostalgia, you know, uh, loving person in me would have loved it if they were somehow able to, like, still do, like, <laughs> the Nintendo game, like, newsletters and trailers and stuff that were tied to this thing. Especially because this represents an era of Nintendo that I really love. Like, I have such a fondness for the sort of mid-2000s era of Nintendo. We're talking, um, you know, we're talking DS and Wii era of Nintendo. I really love that stuff. have such a fondness for it. Ugh. Oh my gosh. We need to find a way to get up there, too. How the heck do you even get up there? I've got no clue. Like, I can see how you can get pretty high. But I don't know how you get all the way up there. Oh, you know what? You probably have to jump from here. Woohoo! Oh, man. It's scary. It's scary! Okay. We're up. We're up, we're up, we're up. Okay, we're going to try not to miss these because I'm going to be kind of upset if I miss these. Okay, okay, okay. Woo! And, like, the levels are actually fairly small, um, but there are no, like, and, and oh, man, I'm going to have to go all the way back around to get that guy. <gasps> no! Oh! oh! Oh, my God. I slipped off the edge. Uh, what I was going to say is that there's no checkpoints. Uh, so it can actually be somewhat brutal. Oh man, that was awful. Top 10 anime betrayals. That was terrible. Holy moly. Okay. That's alright, we're gonna conquer this. This, man, the, the big girl there is so hard to, to get over because she's like... It's actually a pretty smart little design choice. Because they made her basically as big as the almost exact arc of your jump. So it's very hard to get as high as you need to get in order to uh, to attack her properly without the help of some sort of platform or enemy to bounce off of. So I respect that. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I can't, I still, I can't believe that happened. But you see what I mean? Like you can get on top of her by jumping, but it's a pretty tight window. Oh man, I can't believe that happened just a second ago, man. I like slipped off. Oh, that was terrible. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Okay. We're safe. 
I almost wish there was like a Spelunky style thing where you could like look down. You know, like when in Spelunky, when you crouch, uh, when you hit down, like the down button, you can, uh, like the camera shifts down a little bit. That, that'd be really nice in this game. Because I do feel like I'm flying blind a lot of the time. But that's okay. Okay. We're back here. Wasn't too bad to get back here, but... Uh, there is some scary, scary stuff here. Ugh. Okay. We gotta get back up. There's one more snowflake up there that we still need. We gotta be fairly close to the end. This is this has gotta be where like all of the challenge in the level comes from because um, there really isn't that many snowflakes. There's only 24. Whew, okay, I thought I was going to slip off there. The slippery physics is like the number one scary thing about this game. Okay. Okay. This is what I mean. I wish I could look down. Okay. Okay. <sighs> is there something over here with the otters? I feel like I'd be... Okay, let's go over here and see what's up here. Okay, there's got... Those last two have got to be over there with those other otters. Yep. Mm, oh, oh my god. That was so close. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, that was an intense one. Holy crap. That was... That was intense. That was really intense. Vector ship. I wonder what that could be a reference to. Schwabble-tastic. You rescued an artifact, Chubby, the most powerful triangle of all times. Not wrong. Not wrong about that. 314. That was superb, Chubby. You got all the snowflakes. Well done. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. Woo, okay. That was the December 4th episode of Mission in Snowdrift Land, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my pain and suffering. Well, so far, so good. So far, nothing has been impossible. We have persevered. We have gotten through it. Hope you guys have been enjoying these. We got a new episode going live every day, hopefully, if I do this right. And uh, we will be going through this advent calendar, going all the way to Christmas. Really enjoying this game. Uh, $6.99 on Steam. Hopefully, if the game does well enough, it'll come to Switch. We can properly cover it on the podcast. Anyway, for more stuff like this, for more Nintendo-based content, you're in the right place. All in. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the links in the description for all the social media stuff. Join the Discord, Twitch, Twitter, all that junk. I love and appreciate all of you, and I hope you have a wonderful holiday. I hope your December continues to be wonderful. And, um, yeah, we'll catch you next time, guys. Bye!